as transportation officials prepare a review of multiple options. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez is at one of the major pressure points in Alhambra. She has more on the looming clash. Miriam? That's right. Where I'm standing right now, if transportation pl planners had their way 50 years ago, this would be a freeway right here going across Valley Boulevard. But there has been so much opposition and so many lawsuits. Today, a coalition of cities that are in the path of the freeway came out to say, let's go a different direction. If you travel through the San Gabriel Valley, you know the crunch. Where the 710 freeway was supposed to carry traffic north and south, there's a dead end. Thousands of vehicles pour onto local streets. It's gridlock. We want to do something. We want to solve the problem, but we don't want to solve it by pushing a tunnel or a freeway on the region. A tunnel is one of five options the MTA is studying. The board has access to measure our funds to clear the quagmire that has been growing for decades. As many as 100 different plans have been proposed. Today, who call themselves beyond the 710 say they have a better option. Smart infrastructure, light rail, bus rapid transit systems. They say demolish what they call the northernmost stub of the 710 freeway. Build access streets. They say will send a third of the drivers directly to where they want to go. Cal State LA. Then you reduce the actual congestion and traffic getting to Valley to about 25,000 from 45,000, and that's huge. They question what boring a tunnel beneath South Pasadena would really cost. Whatever the technological feasibility, a single bore or dual bore tunnel is cost prohibitive uh, and would cost anywhere between $3.15 billion and a whopping $5.65 billion. In the middle of the present traffic mess, Alhambra. It supports closing the freeway gap and balks at the new critics. All of the opposition is coming from your upper class communities, La Cunata, South Pasadena, because they don't want traffic on their part of the 210 freeway. The MTA says a final solution must address regional needs. That means easing the congestion headache on north-south streets from Eagle Rock to Baldwin Park, a 100 square mile area. Back now live, this debate is only going to heat up. The MTA says that the period when they will be accepting public comment will end on July 6th. They say they hope to have some key decisions made by the spring of 2016. Reporting live from Alhambra, Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 